arguing in favor of tonight's resolution. Be it resolved, the future of Western politics is populist, not liberal, is the former strategist to President Donald Trump and global populist campaigner Stephen K. Bannon. Speaking against tonight's motion, be it resolved, the future of Western politics is populist, not liberal, is the best-selling author, Atlantic Magazine's senior editor, and staunch critic of President Trump and populist politics, Toronto's own David Frum. It's not a question of whether populism's on the rise and populism's going to be the political future. Only question before us, is it gonna be populist nationalism or populist socialism? We're at the beginning of a new political revolution, and that is populism. The only question before us, is it going to be a populist nationalism that believes in capitalism and deconstructing the administrative state and giving the little guy a piece of the action and break up this crony capitalism? of big corporations and big government, or is it going to be a Jeremy Corbyn and Bernie Sanders type of populist socialism? Because the party of Davos and the elites have blown too many calls, too many existential events, the rise of China, the seven trillion dollars spent on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, the deregulation that led to the financial crisis in 2008, how the financial crisis was bailed out, where we are today in this over-leveraged society, because as you know, most of you in this room that work in finance, we're heading to another financial crisis. We are here to engage in the most important, the most dangerous challenge that liberal democratic institutions have faced since the end of communism. And you may be wondering, does the kind of politics that Steve Bannon is speaking for and that President Trump articulates, does that politics offer me anything? Should I listen to it? And I'm here tonight to tell you, it offers you nothing. It does not care about you. It does not respect you. Because this new populism is a scam. It's a lie. It's a fake. It has nothing. Now, it, I don't mean that just in the sense that so many of its leaders are crooks, although they are. Uh, <laughs> President Trump is a crook. Viktor Orban is a crook. Marine Le Pen is a crook. And I don't mean that in the sense they say things that are not true. I mean, they are looting. Viktor Orban is looting Hungary on a post-Soviet scale. Marine Le Pen finances her party with Russian money and by stealing European parliamentary funds. And Donald Trump is running the most unethical administration in American history, enriching himself as he does. That this is not the first time that democracy has faced thugs and crooks and bullies and would-be dictators and those who seek to build themselves up by tearing others down. This is not the first time that such people have puffed themselves as the wave of the future. They were wrong then, they are wrong now.